Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video we will be modeling together this part. This is an item I have in home and I wanted to model for you. And it contains nice features and it can teach you nice things in terms of plastic part uh, modeling. Uh, we open the new part and on top plane I'm creating a rectangle at first. This rectangle will have a dimension of 175 by 100 and after we close sketch and go to features with 5 uh, 40 degree high, high 5 degree and angle we make a draw outward we create an extrude after this we create a sketch and while surface is selected we click the offset and we create a 5mm offset and again we create one uh, extrude same angle will be there outwards but now height is just uh, 30 instead of 40 we are going to create some fillets and first going to be 15 and then 20 over time and here I have a 10 and here I will place it to here as well radius is 2 yes it is looking fine now we can make a shell which will be 1.5 and then we get this nice shape now we are looking from front plane and we will create a sketch I create here my construction geometry and the form that I wanna create right click select all and mirror entities yes this is what I wanted to have this is 140 and this will be 60 here we have a 20 maybe this is a little bit less I forget what I was having on my original model through all and cut this is good and then we can make infinite here again 10 select the face sorry this edge yeah it is looking nice and now I'm going to create another cutout which will be on the right plane we select it and then we pick this uh, point to point to center to find it in the middle of the this uh, face in fact I have here a 55 by 13 height um, sketch and I have at the edge radius 3 and then extrude cut both in fact we don't need anymore the other half of the model we can remove because we will have a lot of uh, objects that we would like to uh, mirror instead of we can just remove only the half and then only work with this area and here I create a sketch it's normal too and I'm going to convert this edge right click then tangency convert and 
right click chain and on offset is two. Here I will create a one millimeter extrude, merge result, of course active. Radius one will be here, one will be here. Maybe it will be difficult to program. Let's wait. It didn't show preview, so there was an issue. Then that means we are going to create radiuses individually, as I do in the screen now. Pull it here as well. Yeah, it is looking nice. And now I will create here a rib. I have here a normal tool and I will create a sketch. First I'm telling I'm going to do that here finding the centers because I want to create some things alongside this center. Mm -hmm. Then what we can do is select this one and concentric the relationship. I will have here a rectangle but this one something like this which will have 1.5 thickness because our material thickness overall material thickness is 1.5 here we are having a parallel relationship and at the end we are going to have a 8 millimeter rib and I will place here a dimension which will be 8 as well something like this when you are designing a plastic part, material thickness is very important because all plastic materials have a certain critical material thicknesses. You should consider that prior to your design because you cannot make everything you want. Some things due to the nature of the plastic will limit you, for example, minimal thickness, maximum thickness. Of course you can create as thick as you want but uh, visual properties will not be that uh, perfect. There's a lot of things to consider. Yes, something like this I wanted to have here and then I'm going to mirror it. If you look there, here I select my object, here I select my plane, and click mirror automatically automatically jumps to the other side and here I will have a two radius one will be here one will be here and I will keep them two yes and after this operation we are going to create uh, the object at the bottom I have here a uh, sketch, new sketch. I select this free object, offset, reverse and 5. Then I will create here extra two line and send those guys. We can make this two equal. Something and a half and I'm going to create here some radiuses as well. Sharp edges difficult uh, to machine. Also in plastic production, you would like to have always smooth edges. It will help you a lot. Yes. Also angles very important because otherwise your material or part can stick to mold and you cannot remove it because the process is uh, warm. The thicknesses are very critical. You can have really trouble. Yes. We create here a nice shape. Mirror objects will be boss and fit it. Yes, it is nice. Uh, now we can make mirror impact. 
white plane, mirror, this active. This will be bodies, by the way. And merge solid will make our body merged. After operation, we have here sharp edges. We will create uh, some radiuses as well. Yes, everything look okay. And here we are going to create one more item and then complete our video. This is going to add some extra stiffness to your model and also will help uh, material uh, flow a lot. But how? And flow is good. Length. Yes, this is what we want. We should select items. 3.25 with 5 degree again. Material is thin and there is uh, uh, delta in the temperatures. So when material uh, start to flow into your mo uh, die, then it will have difficulty to move. This kind of additions will add stiffness and it will help your material flow. It's good to keep in mind that if there is no any uh, prohibition due to the aesthetical uh, aspects of part, uh, it's always good to have add ribs and this kind of little additions to your part. Let's make it bigger because this is an invisible surface and will make your life always easier to have it on your part. These are so little things that you learn at the work but these are also related to fluid dynamics. I just wanted to share with you because uh, around the two year I worked in a in a uh, mold shop workshop and then uh, it was a great lessons that you could not find in the books most of the time. Yes, uh, we created no sharp edges, of course, and fillet. Let's make a small fillets here. Second is removed, and then after filleted. Yes, guys, I think this was all. And we created everything, and it's looking fine. I didn't create here intentionally some uh, radius because it's a rib and it's very thin. Yeah? You will uh, make this groove on the mold, it can be difficult to create. Uh, ribs at the depth if you are not using EDM machine. So I'm just keeping that lead. In this kind of features, most of them I was discussing with my colleagues from machine department from the uh, field and then deciding to add uh, the radiuses on it. And then, yeah, this is all. I hope one day we can create for us such an item also a uh, mold together with you. Thanks for watching my video. If you have questions, please write below in the comments. If you like my video, please hit the like button. Uh, see you in another video.